We're high court enforcement agents. We've got high court here. I'd like to sort this out face to face. Debts of over £12 billion are owed to people across the UK. £1,200 and never got it back. And many of them struggle to get paid what they're due. It now looks like she's avoiding to deal with this matter. When all other attempts to settle a debt have failed... Okay, so new job. Specialist enforcement agents are called in to recover what's owed. Your time of expiry has come. Armed with a high court writ... All checking desks are going to be closed until this matter's resolved. The agents have the authority... If you think we're doing something illegal, call the police. Expertise... Everyone can be found. We're easy. And the backup... We've made contact, we know they're there. ...to settle debts that no one else can. Our agents used as a last chance saloon. They take payments in cash. £6,200. Or seize and sell possessions. The car has been taken control of. I need to go on. To finally get the debt paid. This is 70 grand here. In these unprecedented times, agents are busier than ever. Oh, want to put me? But the challenge to recover the money from those that won't pay... Doesn't need to be this difficult, does it? No, but I think it will be this one. ...has never... Yeah, don't touch me. ...been greater. He's going to call his brothers. I don't think it's to pay. Come on, Casey, let's go. Every day... Enforcement agents with high court writs set out to find those who haven't paid their debts. Feeling confident today? Yeah, I don't know why. Although we didn't really get much sleep. <laughs> you can sleep when you die. They collect nearly two million pounds a week for people who need their money back. Alex is getting his gloves on like he's a serial killer. Where's my rope and duct tape? You don't have to be big and strong. Hello? Is anyone around? It's not about being tough, but it's being stubborn. At least we can make somebody happy if they get their money back. People think, well, look, they're going to take money off those people. But there's always somebody on the other end. Look at the most romantic sunrise. Oh, you saw a man there. Agents Mark and Virgil are making a second attempt to track down a man with a substantial debt. So, second stage enforcement, a chap took him to court and the claim was made in October last year. Yeah, it talks, didn't it? Yeah. We don't know what he looks like, do we? After it was claimed his dog had attacked someone else's, he received a county court judgment ordering him to pay the claimant's vet fees. But as no payment was made, a high court writ was issued. Yeah, hopefully this one will be all right. The agents are hoping an early start will give them a better chance of success. Mate, the thing is, waking up at 3 o'clock in the morning, oh, mate. <sighs> Someone's definitely going to be in. Oh, yeah, yeah, this how, yeah. It's a nice area. This is a posh part. It's a what, sorry? The posh part. Posh part. <laughs> Do you know where have a word posh, where the posh originate from? Uh, from posh, posh spice, no? <laughs> no. No. Port out starboard home. Right, whereabouts? That's right. Mm -hmm. On the, oh, that, that's the one. That's one. <laughs> the way that dog is howling, I don't. Right there. Yeah. Don't believe the night, hand. If they need to, the agents have the authority to seize and sell goods to help recover the money owed. Mate, what was the card the last time was here? Wasn't that one? Yeah. If they find evidence that the man owns one of the vehicles, it could be towed and sent to auction. And there's some male in there for a female. So I'm going to check on social media and see if we can find a connection. Did you look in this one? Not yet. Be careful. I know. Might be dog poo. That's why I chose blue. <laughs> yeah. Right. This is frustrating, this one. Mm, it is. Just as it begins to look like they could have stayed in bed longer. Hello? Hello? Oh, somebody's coming. There's movement inside. 
Hello? So somebody came out, let the dog out. But they still don't come to the door. Come and have a chat with me, please. Let's go through the back. We can go through the back. So. I'll, I'll do it. You stay here. I'll go in the back. Yeah. yeah you can put your banger. Mark goes to the rear of the property to see if he can get someone's attention. Give me a call. So, when I looked through the letter box, uh, basically a female came out and let the dog out because the dog was in one of the rooms. And um, yeah, it's clear that she let it out to intimidate us. Um, they know what's it about. Hello there. My name is Virgil. I'm a hardcore enforcement agent. Uh, I believe you know what's it about because uh, so. the claimants took yes. you to court, then he escalated it to the high court on January this year. The bloke's an arsehole. I've been off with an American bulldog. Okay. His dog had to go out by and then come up worse. So I tried to pay half his vet's bills and he wasn't interested. Uh, at this point, you have a debt of £8,350 and 62p. I can't make any you know? payments today. I'm trying to get a solicitor to take it back to court. For us, they just give us the high court red. And obviously you got your version, he's got your, his version. It's not for me to say obviously who's right or who's wrong. I think empathy is the most important thing that you can have in this job. I've been through hard times, you know. It's on not only rainbows in life, but behind every debt, there's a person that is owed the money. You know, it's nothing personal, I'm doing my job. Uh, obviously, I need to ask you, how can you deal with it? Because this needs to be sorted. What... Well, I'm scared I'm not even working at the moment. Okay. Is there any is there any chance you can have a call around friends and family? No. This I'm on the arse, mate. I'm, I'm in the process of trying to get a solicitor to take it back to court. Although the man still wants to dispute the original judgment, the agents have a high court writ to enforce today. Either way, we're here now. This yeah. is what we need to sort out now. And if he won't pay, the only option left could be to seize an expensive asset. Well, hopefully someone's in because there is a vehicle on the drive. Persistence is an effective tool in every agent's pursuit for payment. Nobody's answering. Alex and Sherry have made multiple visits to the home of a woman who owes money to a PPI claims company. Payment Protection Insurance, or PPI, was missold to millions of people in the UK, and the banks were told to refund their customers. Good morning, it's Alex, uh, enforcement agent. Some people instructed claims companies to recover money on their behalf. If successful, the claimant agrees to pay the claims company a percentage of the final payout. Unfortunately, not everyone follows through on that arrangement. What's that notice in the window say? Freedom of the land. People who adopt the theories of groups like the Freeman on the Land believe that only laws they consent to apply to them. And that can include laws used by companies to recover debts. Have they the right to do that? No. I've come across quite a few of those. The first thing they do, they come out shouting, that we're not allowed to be there. Well, we clearly are, and um, we're there to get money. So regardless of, you know, what they think, um, it's not gonna stop us. Ah, what can I say, Sherry? What can I say? Fourth visit, that's all I can say. <laughs> never give up. That's the motto, um, just continue going. Today, Alex and Sherry will make yet another attempt to speak to the woman. Right then, let's see what she's got to say. She ain't answering. Still got a little note there. You will be removed, apparently. Good morning. It's Alex, uh, enforcement agent. Can you come to the door, please, so we can have a discussion? 
I think it's just going to have to be a bit of a, a waiting game at the moment. <clears throat> There's somebody. Alex, the enforcement agent. It's the woman they're looking for. Well, basically, I've come back again because nothing's happened on this. I have texted you. I have sent you an email and you have not responded. She says she's agreed a repayment plan with the court. Okay, have you got proof to that effect? I need to see something. But won't provide them with the evidence and has called the police. I don't want to be here in as much as you don't want me to be here. But we have to close this case. Why can't she just show us the paperwork? Well, we'll have to wait for the police to make an attendance. If the debt's being repaid, Alex and Sherry's persistence may have paid off. But they're not leaving without proof. Coming up. In the straightaway, we know, right, Van. It's time to talk towing for Mark and Virgil. That's road right over here. We just had it MOT'd. It's got a vehicle. Which I reckon this is it, you know. And the stalemate continues for Alex and Sherry. Yeah, I know you've contacted the police. Show me the paperwork and we'll go. Enforcement agents Mark and Virgil are attempting to recover a large debt. I've got an American boat, though. Okay. His dog had to go out buying and come up worse. The bloke's an arsehole. The court ruled in favour of the other dog's owner, and now the man must pay back the £8,000 vet costs. How can you deal with it? Because this needs to be sorted. Well, I'm scared I'm not even working at the moment. Okay. This is me out, mate. If no payment is forthcoming, the agents may have to seize property to help get the debt paid. Is there any chance you can have a call around friends and family? No. Virgil wants to find a solution today. I'll be honest with you, I don't want to be here, mate, and make your life even difficult, you know? My, my job is here, obviously, to sort something out for you, and obviously sort something out for the claimant, you know? Because, for example, if you were owed £8,000, obviously... About seven at the moment, the last <laughs> We now, can help you on that, don't we? We can help you on that, exactly. <laughs> you you got to put yourself in our situation as well, so... Although I gotta be fair with you, I gotta be fair with him as well, you know? Yes, no, I agree. So, yeah. is there any kind of payment plan you can. I can't make any payments today. I'm oh. scared I'm not even working at the moment. What did you do for a living? I'm a carpenter. Oh, yeah. All right. Seriously. So, you've been hit with this COVID as well? Yeah, since I've, well, I've been working on since last year. What's the minimum I can offer at a five month then? There's no minimum or maximum. It's, you know? it's something that he he's accepts and you can afford because we don't want to come back. If the arrangement is in place and is kept, you can sort it out afterwards. If you want to go to court or whatever you want, you know, you have every right to do whatever you think is right for you. you know? Let's do this. Go inside. We'll give you 20 minutes, half an hour, if you want. I'll give you my phone number, okay? We'll, ju we'll go and grab a coffee. I can't make any you know? payments today. I'm not saying make any payments. So I'm just telling else. you, I'm it. just uh, asking you, trying to make some phone calls, you know? Like give us a call, coffee, okay? Thank, Thank you, mate. Appreciate it. Cheers. Bye. When it comes to debt, there's no escaping it. You owe the money, you need to sort it out. As soon as you stick your head in the sand, it builds up. The stress builds up on yourself and the costs do build up. I like to come across as human. I treat them as I want to be treated and it does work, believe it or not, being nice in this job. I'll tell you people what it says, totally. I've, I've got a dog and my dog's been attacked and I've, I've gone through the same situation, so I know who he's going through. He's always stressful when dogs are involved. People love their dogs sometimes more than their family. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And Mark thinks the man might have revealed some useful information. So he said he's a carpenter, and that's straight away we know, right, van, or a car with toolboxes in. It's, it's, it's got a vehicle, which I reckon this is it, you know. It's got a tool station catalogue in there. This is it. Thing. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a bit of leverage as well. So if he comes up with a payment plan, only can pay 50 quid today then we can encourage him to look for more cash. Let's see how, how much it's worth. He just had it MOT'd. So it's roadworthy, yeah. Last week. If they're right about the van or find another vehicle of his nearby, seizing it might be the only way to get the debt settled. 
we make contact, that's a good thing. We've got his phone number. Hopefully, the claim will get his money back, one way or another. They head off to give the man some time. Coffee and sausage roll, Virgil. But they'll be back after breakfast. Good old British staple, coffee and sausage roll. British staple? Yeah. What's that? I need to Google that, mate. Just put English staples. <laughs> mate, I just see potatoes. Potato, yeah, that's, that's a staple. But basically, it's a cooked potato. <laughs> <laughs> mate, you're confusing me, huh? Ten minutes later, the man calls back. So, uh, regarding our conversation, what's the offer? Look, as I said, I'm out of work at the moment. I can do probably about a couple of hundred quid a month. So, what does that mean, exactly? Two two hundred pounds a month. Yes, at the moment. The thing is, we need the payment this month. You tell yeah, me um, when when you're going to do it. Next Friday. Next Friday, two hundred pounds. Okay, sir. No worries. Have a All good right, day. Bye you. bye bye. Not bad. I thought it'd be 50. I, I thought okay. it was, it was going to be 100, but... Yeah. He's trying. Mate, it, yeah, fair enough. At least he's trying. we got a payment plan, which is good. At least some money will come. It's not really bad considering the situation. I've got up at 3 o'clock this morning to pick up Virgil to go to the first case. It's been a rather long morning, but yeah. it's worth it. With the early start paying off for Mark and Virgil, they move on to their next case. Two hundred miles north, Alex and Sherry are playing the waiting game. A woman who owes over three thousand pounds to a PPI claims company says she's recently agreed a repayment plan with the court. Okay, have you got proof to that effect? I need to see something. But she hasn't provided evidence and has called the police. So now we wait for the police to make an attendance. If the police come, it's even better for us, and then it makes our job easier. This is the middle of Birmingham. When they're going to be free is, is a different thing. You know, they're probably thinking, well, they'll have to go eventually. And we're thinking, well, they have to come out eventually. <laughs> so. I'm quite happy for the police to come. Yep. So far, it's Alex who's been speaking with her. Sherry suggests a new approach. I want to speak to this woman. I wish she would come out. She would bring the papers for me. Phone her. Hi, my name's Sherry. I'm outside with Alex. We came to you this morning. Um, it was just to catch up, really. I know you've contacted the police. I do understand that you've said um, that you've got an arrangement with the court to pay a certain amount. I think I'm very persistent. I think I'm strong-minded and I like to see something through to the end. We're just sitting here and it will be so much easier if, like, if you didn't want to speak to Alex, speak to me, show me the paperwork and we'll go. You do need to have a thick skin. I think you'd need to have quite a bit of life experience. Because it's obviously, you know, hassle for yourself. Um, and we just, you know, we don't want to cause you hassle. It gives you the confidence to speak to people from any walk of life, um, from any job. But we don't want to be wasting your time or the police time. If you can find it before they come, I'll come down to your house and take some photographs of it. You get a knack. If they can put their side across, then they are more likely to pay. Also, it helps them calm down. It gets a job done. She tells Sherry she'll see what she can do. All right, thank you then. Bye-bye. Bye. I told you she'd speak to me. She's scared. She saw your face and she was scared. I don't blame her. Even sometimes when I look in the mirror in the morning, I get scared. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, here we go. Hello? Whoa. She says she's found the proof they need. Are you going to bring it to the door? As woman to woman, sometimes, you know, it can work. She can get through where I can't get through. She's found the paperwork that's been granted by the court. And uh, this is what we've been waiting for all along. She came to the door with a bed sheet over her head, pushed it through the letterbox. I was able to take the photograph of the paperwork. 
once again, the agent's persistence pays off. And with the payment plan in place, the claimant can finally start to get their money back. So time was starting to count down and we were going nowhere. So sometimes that silent pressure is the one that works. Mm. Yeah. It's finished now. That's it. So we won't be coming back again. Maybe I should have spoken to her the first time. Yeah, onwards and upwards. And upwards. Yep. On to the next, the next one. Time. Once a case is in the hands of enforcement agents, she needs another dead end. Leave my letter, give them 24 hours. Their first challenge is to track down the debtor. Our trace department will be putting extra effort in to try and locate where these people are. Sometimes the search begins online, using social media and credit agency checks to trace a defendant's whereabouts. We've got a possible address. Thank you very much, appreciate it. They're so cute! Oh, 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 they're coming! Agent Casey... I love animals. ...and Alex... <sighs> ...are tracking down a man who owes almost £8,000. Hey, big guy, what's your name? How much money you got? Come on, Casey, let's go. Yeah, let's go. The agents have high court writs for two separate unpaid debts from the same individual. This is a debt in respect of unpaid legal fees. The debt has been outstanding for over four years. We've instructed Casey and Alex to go out and try and track down this debtor. We do a lot of background work to track down an individual. It's not uncommon to go to two addresses, three addresses, sometimes four, but we do find them in the end. The searchers have thrown up different addresses. So the agents are attending the first on the list. Hello. Sorry to disturb you. We're looking for a gentleman, actually, and we're wondering if we're in the right place. The woman knows the man they're looking for, but he's no longer there. They moved a couple of years ago. We will always knock on neighbours' houses opposite to try and find out some information about the person that we're after. They're local, though, still, are they? Sometimes they'll not want to say anything to us at all. However, on the other foot, you'd be quite amazed, really, at how much information we, 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 we get from neighbours. Thank you very much for your time. Yeah. Sorry to disturb you. I hope you have a great day. Cheers for you. Thanks for your help. Bye-bye. He doesn't live here. Actually, they said that he used to live next door, him and his wife, for years. And at this point now, he's moved. But the lovely lady has actually told us where he is now. Um, at, at another area around the corner. And the information matches another address the agents have. You got someone coming over. Hello. Hello, sir. The neighbor's husband wants to help and gives them a possible car registration. Oh, I love you. You're amazing. Well, that's good. We've got a little bit of inside sources from the family. Armed with information about the man's car. All right. Same person, different address. The agents head to the second address. The actual county court judgment was first made on the 1st of December 2016. Do you think he thought he was going to get away with it? Regrettably for them, we travel nationwide. Wherever you go, you will be traced. Enforcement agents are always on the lookout for high-value assets. Beautiful, that, isn't it? As vehicles are often the most expensive item people own... Okay. They are often seized and sold to help pay off money owed. He has refused to cooperate. He found his car. I really want to take it away. But they can also be the cause of debt. Driving through Thetford Forest, blue sky, nice fresh air. Agents Mark and Virgil have picked up a new case. I'll tell you what, though. Centre Parks is here. What's that? You haven't been to Centre Parks? Mate, I'm not English. Best way to explain it is it's a posh butlins. What? They're now on the trail of a man who owes over £17,000. This is money owed to an insurance company. A young man wrote up a high car 
um, didn't pay the insurance excess and he's now left with a bill for just over £17,000 and we need to try and recover that for our client. Almost 400,000 vehicles are written off every year and men under 25 are twice as likely to be involved than any other age group. I think it's mid twenties, is that correct? Yeah, for a twenty year old kid it's a lot of money. I think we all make stupid decisions where we're young. So. Yeah, I was the same when I was twenty. Dad passed away when I was doing my GCSE, so I didn't have anyone to look up to. So got myself in a bit of a pickle with a bit of debt, but head down, got myself out of it. Uh, you make mistakes, you learn, that's how you learn. Wanna mess it. Okay. okay Lights are on. I always like to be the good cop. You can catch more flies with honey than you do with vinegar. If they are nice and courteous, that's how I treat them. If they start shouting and screaming at me, you just start escalating it step by step. I'm not blessed with Virgil here. He's not here. Could you get him on the phone for us, please? She's speaking to him on the phone. Yeah, I can hear someone talking, yeah. Hello. Hiya. Hi, I'm Mark Wilson, I'm a high enforcement agent. Yeah, what I'm trying to do is sort out an IVA. He claims he's applied for an IVA, a legally agreed repayment plan to help clear his debts. The paperwork is being sorted out as we speak. If an IVA is in place, the agents would have to stand down. I can give you the number of the person. I, I can't right now because obviously I'm at work, but I am sorting it out. It's going to be sorted out by the end of this month. With no such agreement currently set up, the agents can proceed. So what is it? Did you crash a car in it? Yeah, I crashed, I crashed the higher car and now they've hit me with it. What car was it that he crashed? It was an 18 plate BMW. But didn't the insurance cover it? No. They crashed it and then because he didn't pay the excess fee, it's voided. So he's now liable for the full amount because he didn't pay the excess fee. Right, so always pay the excess fee. Yes. When you bury your head in the sand, it's no escaping it. You owe the money, you need to sort it out. With all due respect, and this was about five months ago, the High Court writ is in place. As soon as you stick your head in the sand, it builds up. The stress builds up on yourself and the costs do build up. The debt can't be avoided any longer. They want some kind of money. That is what I'm trying to do, but obviously I can't afford anything. And the agents want to find a way to get it paid today. I'm trying my best to sort it out, but yeah. I've, I've got nothing, to be honest. Coming up... That's the house. Have Casey and Alex found their man? Can we get it quick time, please? Alex believes it to be their car. And Mark and Virgil step it up a gear. That's ring. I've been engaging with us. Let's go and have a chat with him. What is the next step here? They've got high court rate and they want money. Agents Mark and Virgil are trying to retrieve payment from a man who wrote off a hire car. I'm trying my best to sort it out. Like, oh, yeah. I've, got, I've, got nothing. I've got nothing, to be honest. Having not paid the insurance excess fee, he's now facing a bill for over £17,000. Like, I don't understand how much money you're expecting me to give you. Could you speak to like the banker mum and dad and see if they could try and help you out as well? well that, that haven't used it. They've helped me out enough, to be honest. We do take every case by case. Honestly, mate, I, I can't. I've got nothing spare that I can afford. That's what we try and work with the people involved. This is why we need to see you. Then we can turn around and say, look, he isn't living the high life. If they've got a Porsche and they're trying to do a £10 payment plan, it's not going to wash with us. We just want to be more truthful, that's all. All right? I am being truthful, mate. I, I really am. If they haven't got assets and they're telling the truth, no problems. We can justify the payment plan. So, you can't pay anything today. No. What can you realistically pay each week or month? It would be £100 a month. Your partner's saying £100 a month? Yeah. That's realistic. That's realistic, yeah? You sure that's realistic? Cause... Yeah, that's realistic. Because yeah. you two seem really nice. I don't really want to visit you again. No, no, that's, like, we, we try and cooperate, mate. That is realistic, to be honest. You can pay more than that. Right. <sighs> so we're going to phone the office up. They're going to propose it to the client. The client's going to say yes or no. If you work with us, we can work with you, yeah? Yeah. No, that's all we asked for, OK? Hi, right, babe. I'll just sort this out with them, all right? All right. 
Right. We're here to hell. We're not bad guys. Oh, yeah, I know. Yeah? We are, we are stereotyped. Yeah. People think we've got bolt croppers in the car we can start yeah. chopping fingers off. <laughs> the agents will put in the proposal, but it may take a few days to get a response. The main thing is that we got him to communicate with us. The problem is when they lie, when they cheat, when they hide, people, they bury their hand in the sand and they're afraid to talk to us or they may think, oh, the big bad bailiffs are hit. I prefer, you know, everybody to be honest. I'll put them in an arrangement, they pay, everything is good. But it's not case closed until the money starts coming in. Agents Casey and Alex are tracking down a man who owes nearly eight thousand pounds. Thank you very much for your time. Yeah. Sorry to disturb you. They drew a blank at the first address they tried, but did come away with a registration for his vehicle. Oh, I love you. They're hoping the second address they have proves more fruitful. The first address so he was moved out a couple of years ago, but the current occupier has confirmed his correct address. Nice houses. This is oh, the right. address, and those are his license plate. That's the house. The registration matches the one they were given. Can we get it quick time, please? I want to get the clamp on. Alex believes it to be their car, so he's getting ready to clamp. Hello. Sorry to disturb you today. Unfortunately, I'm in possession of two high court writs for you. Um, do you know about this? Do you know what it's about? Uh, well, I, I know that they... So, They've got there's two claims, one for two thousand six hundred and fifty pounds, and one for five thousand two hundred and eighty-five pounds and ninety-seven pence. You have to treat each case individually. You can see the two writs here. Okay. You can let, do you want to have a look at them? Until that person's in front of me, it's difficult to gauge what their current situation is. Right. Well, I am aware of these amounts, but I mean, I can't sort out the chart for you. Some people are nice, but this isn't going to go away, and. Unless you work with us to, to try and help you get through what's going on, it can get worse, it can escalate. You're risking losing your goods, your cars, your property. Could you pay the smaller one off? Not, not today, no. Right, okay. Is there anyone that you may need yeah. to give a you know, phone call? Because your, your Range Rover's been seized. Is there any possibility that you could speak to someone who may be able to assist you? Um, uh, probably the most likely get to you uh, immediately, it'd be about £500 or so. Is there any friends or family or anyone that might be able to assist you? I mean, obviously it's better to owe the friends and family than it is to the court. The agents give him a chance to consider his options. Go and have a chat, I'm going to speak to you shortly. He's a bit coy at the moment, so I'm not entirely sure what reaction we're going to get from him going forward. To be honest with you, he owes just short of 8,000. He's got two Range Rovers in the driveway. Quite clearly an expensive property. So I believe that really we should be pushing to be paid. 500 pounds for me in this situation is not good enough. If he doesn't come up with a better offer, his car could be towed. When agents go out to get a debt settled, Removing goods is one option. Well, unfortunately, it's been seized. Or, if the claimant agrees, sometimes the debt can be paid off in instalments. The client has accepted the offer. So what is it? Did you crash a car in it? I crashed a higher car. Mark and Virgil put forward a payment plan for a man owing over £17,000 the claimant approved the deal. If you work with us, we can work with you, yeah? Yeah. But two months on and the agents have been told there's a problem. Text him last week. Okay. No reply, so the only option is to give him a call. Please leave your message after the tone. Good afternoon. Can you call me back on this number as soon as possible? Uh, we've got a slight issue. Apparently payments haven't been made. Can you call me back uh, as soon as possible so we can try and sort this out? Thank you. There we go. It was a good arrangement. People just don't want to sort it out. Not answering. 
have engaging with us. Let's go and have a chat with him in person. Right, shall we check social media and see what we can find? We use social media as a form of research. So he's changed his location, so he may be living with his mother. We can find debtors that are hard to track down. I'll tell you what I'd suggest. Drive by yeah. at the first address. Yeah. There's cars there. We're not. It's not there. Go around to his mum's address. Yeah, let's do it like that. If they can't get the payment plan up and running again, the agents may have to seize assets to settle the debt. When agents are on the hunt, they'll do whatever it takes to track down their target. Sometimes they get some help along the way. He used to live there. Oh, he used to. But people aren't always so willing to assist. We're going to not, we're not trespassing. We've got a high court order, mate. It's icy, be careful. Alex and Sherry are hoping for a swifter resolution to their next case. I'm used to the hot sunshine. In March, I was supposed to be flying to Tahiti. A former model and magistrate, Sherry's not to be underestimated. There's quite a few female enforcement agents out there. People do see me as an easy target. That's their mistake. I'm a bit like a mosquito. I'm small but deadly. Their destination is a car dealership. This is a writ for about £2,000. The debt relates to media advertising and we're sending Alex and Sherry to the address, see if we can find goods and if we can encourage the debtor to pay. Maybe they'll be just nice and get the credit card out. Very rarely that happens. I don't think anybody's in. You don't? There's been no uh, footprints. It's just this little porter cabin, isn't it? It's not, not exactly the big office I was expecting. Somebody call in. Oh, there he Morning, is. sir. The gentleman is not in. He's closed. Meaning mean that he's no longer operating? Shut down. Why are we not just, no. Oh, he's just not open today. The enforcement agent, sir. Oh, right. He will be in today at some point. But he's in at what time? He's in and out. He's in and out. Do you have a number for him that you can phone me? Yeah. If the agents can't secure payment... You want to get a couple of pictures so we can do some DVLA checks? Yes, good idea. They can seize the cars to cover the debt, providing their company assets. There's some uh, expensive vehicles here. Some of them he may be actually selling just on behalf of people that may not belong to the actual business, so it's worth getting them checked. I'll just take a picture of this number as well. Alex puts in a call. He's not answering his phone. Please record your message. My name's Alex, the enforcement agent. If you could give us a call urgently, please. But uh, hopefully he should get it and as a good citizen pay his money. If not, then we'd have to go deeper and try and find out where he actually lives. If he thinks he's getting away with it, he's not. Coming up. You know who it is. I'm your favourite enforcement agent. Mark catches up with his man. Seems you've forgotten about me. And will Alex and KC be removing the Range Rover? He knows about it. He needs to resolve it. But the vehicle's been seized and it's going. Agents Alex and Sherry are trying to settle a debt of over £2,000. The man they're after is not at work. Is it possible I can leave for him? So they leave their details with the neighbouring business. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. I found people get the letter and they go, oh yeah, they won't come back now. He's wrong. We'll be back. But as they're leaving, on to the next job. He calls back. Hello? 
My name is Alex, enforcement agent. Unfortunately, we've come out today to collect 2,204.50. He is aware of the debt. Excellent. And offers to make immediate payment in full. Hopefully, we'll get a call to say that the money is in the account. And then we can breathe easily. Hello, Alex. £2,204.50 has landed in our account. Thank you, Brian. Thank you. Thank you, mate. All right. Another satisfied customer. He seemed very relaxed and he was quite happy to get on and pay it. It just went as it was supposed to go. No hassle to a good result. You see, when you've got professional enforcement agents, <laughs> it can be a walk in the park. Agents Casey and Alex have tracked down the person liable for debts totaling almost £8,000. But he's only offered 500 Well, I, I believe he knows about it. He'll know by looking at what we, what we provided that he needs to resolve it. When someone is claiming not to have, be able to pay, cars acts as quite significant leverage. Oh, he's just coming now. We've had many, many cases where the minute we tell them that the vehicle's been seized and it is going, that's when they'll come out and that's when they'll start to engage. Uh, my son is arranging funds to make payments. For the, for the first one or for all of it? For all of it. Yeah. That's no worries at all. Do you want to do it by bank transfer or by card? By card. With an offer of full payment, the hunt has paid off. Just need your signature, sir. I am surprised he didn't pay it sooner, especially is the fact that within a five minute window, he managed to raise the funds. Thank you very much. And that is it. And he's probably, over the two cases, incurred at least a couple of thousand pounds worth of, of extra fees, if not more. I've done this in so long. Jervis. I am very surprised that he's able to get this far, but it's taken us to come here, seize his vehicle, you know, to get, to get it resolved. Mark and Virgil are looking for a man who owes over £17,000 after he wrote off a hire car. When they last spoke with him, he claimed he was taking insolvency advice, which would help clear all his debts. What I'm trying to do is sort out an IVA. The paperwork is being sorted out. But in the meantime, he agreed a payment plan with the agents. You work with us, we can work with you, yeah? Yeah. He hasn't kept up with repayment, so they're heading to his mum's house. But before they get there, he picks up the phone. How are you? You know who it is. I'm your favourite enforcement agent. Seems you've forgotten about me. Can you pay this off? Because at a minute, basically, we're saying you've defaulted. The RVA's gone through. Can you send us some proof quickly? Because that minute, we may be en route to your uh, address. Brilliant. Thank you. Yeah, RVA. Is he? Yeah. Yep, it does look like you're RVA, so thank you ever so much for proving me wrong and acknowledging it and sorting it out. The IVA, it's in place. You can relax and carry on with your life and get yourself back on track. Happy debt to happy client. Win, win, win. Faith in humanity restored. Yes. Times are hard, we all understand that. You need to say, right, let's get our heads together and you find if they work with you, it's easier. I like doing this job because I can actually help people. We're not ogres, we're nice people. A lot of people forget that someone is owed this money and that could have a massive effect on their lives. Our job is to make sure we get payments, to make sure that our client is happy. It's a good feeling. And if you or someone you know has been affected by the issues raised in Call the Bailiffs tonight, channel5.com slash helplines has information and support. Dive deep into a nuclear-powered world 50 metres below the surface. Submarine Life Under the Waves is brand new next Monday at 9. Next tonight, Casualty 24-7.